Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 6, and this equals 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, what we are going to do is we can start by saying let x equals t to the power of 6. That means this t to the power of 6 will now become our x. So this equation becomes t, which is the t here, to the power of 2 times, instead of writing t power 6, we are going to represent it with this x. So we have 2 times x equals 3. Now, let's get back to this equation. Remember, we have x equals t to the power of 6. So from here, we can simply make t the subject. So what are we going to do? We need to eliminate this 6 here. So for us to eliminate this 6, I'm going to multiply this exponent by 1 over 6. So what I'm going to have will be x equals t to the power of 6. Then I raise it to the power of 1 over 6. And I also have this raised to the power of 1 over 6. Now, if you remember, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. By considering this identity, that means we are simply going to multiply this out. And we are going to have x to the power of 1 over 6 equals t to the power of 6 times 1. That is 6 over 6. And 6 over 6 is 1. So right now, we are simply going to have x to the power of 1 over 6 equals t. So therefore, we can have t equals x power 1 over 6. So that is our t. Now, let's get back to this particular equation, this one here. The reason that we are actually expressing this in terms of t is because if you consider this left-hand side of this equation, we have two variables, two unknown variables, which are t and x. So which is wrong? We need to make sure that we are dealing with one variable, right? So we are now going to represent this t in terms of x, which is the same thing as x power 1 over 6. So heading over to this particular equation, Instead of writing this t, we are going to write our x power 1 over 6 because that is the same thing as t. And this is raised to the power of there is 2 here. So we have 2 times x and this equals 3. So right now, we consider this identity again. Remember a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. If you consider this identity, you need to multiply this exponent out. So what you are simply going to get will be x to the power of 1 times 2x, that is 2x divided by 6, and this equals 3. So from here, 2 eliminate itself, eliminate 6, 3. So we have x to the power of x over 3 equals 3. Now remember, we are solving for x. So what do I do? I need to eliminate this 3 from here. So for me to achieve that, I will raise each of these to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of x over 3. This is raised to the power of 3. And this equals 3 to the power of 3. Now, we need to multiply this out again. So we are simply going to have x to the power of 3 times x, that is 3x divided by 3, equals 3 to the power of 3. So from here, what happens here is that 3 eliminates 3. We have x to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 3. Now, don't forget the fact that if you have a to the power of a and this equals b to the power of b, it simply means a equals b. So, 
if you have x to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 3, that means x equals 3. Now, that is correct for x, but we are solving for t. Don't forget this equation. t equals x power 1 over 6. Have you seen that? Or, you made use of this, x equals t power 1 over 6. So, any of these will still give you the equation in respect to t. So, you have, recall, recall that we had t power 6 equals x. So, that simply means that we are trying to solve for t. So, we need to eliminate this 6. So, we have t power 6 raised to the power of 1 over 6 equals x power 1 over 6. We multiply this out. 6 times 1, that is 6 over 6. So we have t power 6 over 6 equals x power 1 over 6. So this cancel out. We have t equals x power 1 over 6. And our t, our x is 3. So we now have t equals 3 power 1 over 6. We can leave our answer this way, or if you want to break it or simplify further, you consider this identity. If you have a to the power of 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. And this will give you the n root of a, because a power 1 is a. So that means, here we are going to have t equals the 6 root of 3 power 1. And 3 power 1 is 3. We have t equals the 6 root of 3. Alright, that being done. So, the next thing we are going to do will be to insert this particular value back into the original problem. And let's see if it's going to satisfy the equation. So, we have check. And our t equals 3 power 1 over 6 or the sixth root of 3. And the equation remains the same, which is t power 2 times t power 6 equals 3. Let's insert this value for t. So what we are going to have here will be 3 power 1 over 6, that is t, raised to the power of 2 times t again, 3 power 1 over 6, and this is raised to the power of 6, and this equals 3. So from now, you can multiply this exponent, 1 over 6 times 6, that is 6 over 6, that is out. We have 3 to the power of 1 over 6, raised to the power of 2, then you have times 3, and this equals 3. So from here, you have 2 times 3, that is 6. So you have 3 to the power of 1 over 6, raised to the power of 6, equals 3. So from here, we we'll also multiply this out. You have 3 to the power of 6 times 1, that is 6 over 6, and this equals 3. And from here, you have 6 over 6, that is 1, so you have 3, equals 3. So that shows that particular answer has satisfied this equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.